Boeing says that more than 120 triple seven jets around the world have been grounded, and it follows advice from the U.S. plane maker after engine failure on a United Airlines flight. The decision affects triple sevens, which use Pratt and Whitney 4000 engines. U.S. aviation authorities have begun investigating just why the engine on this United Airlines plane burst into flames shortly after takeoff. It sent debris flying over a residential area in Denver. And in more troubling news for Boeing, another flight is under investigation in the Netherlands. Engine parts fell from a 747 cargo jet shortly after takeoff, injuring one woman. Simon Marks joins us live from Washington, D.C. for more on this. Simon, are U.S. investigators erring on the side of caution with the grounding of these planes? Well, I think, Dawn, they definitely suspect that there may be a problem, which is why it has become apparent that focus is zeroing in on that Pratt & Whitney 4000 engine, which is only used on some Boeing 77 models. It's not on all of them, uh, but clearly there is a desire on the part of Boeing itself and also many of the airlines uh, to ground those planes so that they can all be inspected because anyone that's seen uh, the video that was filmed from inside United Airlines Flight 328 uh, on Saturday, shortly after it took off from Denver, will have seen absolutely alarming scenes, uh, quite how the passengers on board uh, managed in some cases to maintain their composure, grab their phones and record those videos. Uh, I mean, one can only uh, wonder at that, but it's hugely useful material uh, for investigators to look at because it gives a very clear indication uh, of what uh, engulfed that particular Pratt & Win Whitney 4000 engine uh, on board that 777. As you know, the plane returned to Denver Airport. Everyone on board was safe. Everyone on the ground, miraculously, uh, was safe, which is extraordinary when you see the size of some of the pieces of debris that fell off that engine uh, and onto uh, the town over which the plane was flying uh, at the time. But certainly uh, there are anxieties about whether this could happen again. Uh, and that's why they're launching this immediate uh, series of investigations uh, and inquiries. A safe landing, despite that dramatic footage, as you mentioned, Simon. But it's another big blow for Boeing, isn't it? Especially after a tumultuous couple of years that the company's had. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, of course, the Boeing uh, 737 MAX only just uh, being approved to return to the skies here in the United States and uh, over Europe following uh, those two crashes uh, of the Boeing 737 MAX at a cost of more than 300 lives uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, and then more broadly, the outlook for the airline industry, of course, battered as it has been over the last year uh, by the COVID-19 pandemic over the weekend. Several U.S. airlines told uh, the New York Times that they didn't expect international flights or business travel uh, to return to normal until at least 2023. And that, of course, has a knock-on effect on aircraft manufacturers uh, like Boeing, with uh, several airlines uh, looking to shrink the size of their fleets rather uh, than, in many cases, to grow them and start spending money uh, on new model aeroplanes. So this couldn't come uh, at a more difficult time for the industry and for companies that service it, uh, which is why I think there's going to be an enormous amount of attention paid over the next few weeks, uh, uh, days and weeks, as those inspections uh, of the 777s around the world get underway. More pain for the aviation sector, it would seem. Simon, thank you very much for that. Simon Marks there in Washington, D.C.